Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and happy Monday. Today we're going to be doing something we haven't done for a while, we're going to be doing pack 8 of the Agora Models release, I built the Leopard Tank. So the 2A6 Leopard Tank to be precise, and as you can see, I've done all the tracks. Now in this stage, we do get seven lots of tracks to do. So that's seven lots of free, 21 tracks to install. Uh, and I've already done that. There is a separate video in the playlist which shows me uh, you putting tracks in. I did it on a live stream. Uh, but you should, by the end of it, have 81 of these bad boys on this track and they are really, really heavy. Uh, but it's uh, uh, it's bittersweet. I'm glad it's done, but uh, you get to the point where you actually, it's quite calming uh, putting the tracks in, I have to say. Uh, but they look just like that. Let me just put that somewhere there. I do believe in this stage we're going to start working on some of the steam circuits, which should be fun. But if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one. Now, apart from the steam circuits, I don't know what else we're doing. So we're going to find that out together. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So as you can see, even though it looks like we've got a full tank, none of this is together at the moment. So I am just going to take everything apart because we're going to be working on different stages in this pack. And this is what comes in stage 61. Got some little details for the tank here. And we've got some screws. And we have got some tiny plastic covers there. So it's going to move that to one side and bring over this massive section here. Let's zoom out one of the cameras. And basically we're going to be taking these details here and they're just going to be going onto the edges of these here. So we've got one this side and we've got one just going over this side here. Now they are slightly different colours. So the green one we got is going to go towards the back. And even though I'm colour blind, I can tell that that's sort of like a pale greeny brown colour. That's going to go towards the front. I hope that's the right way around. I'm saying front and back, but basically <laughs> this one's going towards the large circle area here. Now they're going to be held in with some AP screws. And we need two of them each side. So that's one and two. That holds those plates together. And we just do the same with the green colored one just on the back here. I can put this to one side because we now need these little tiny caps here. Now on those caps, we've got some sticky pads here, which we're going to need to put just on the bottom of each pad because these are actually stuck to the base of the uh, tank here. So I'll get these on. Four of these to put on each one. That was the wrong way around of displaying it. One of these to put on each one of four. <laughs> It's early. <laughs> okay. So, number three. And finally, number four. So just to save time, I'm just going to take the adhesive off these. So it's just going to leave the stickiness there on all four. I'm not putting them in contact with anything, though. It's just going to make it quicker for the next stage. Probably best on the top camera. These are just going to go into the center of this one this one, this one, and this one here. So I'll put them in, show you what that looks like. Basically, they're just hiding the uh, the screw holes we had here when we put these in, just like that. And there we go. That's what they look like, and that's all there is to do in that stage. Now I say that's all there is to do in that stage. There was uh, a little section left to fill up the uh, tracks, <laughs> which as I mentioned at the start, was uh, already done. Now, the stage 62, we're doing exactly the same as what we've just done. This is the law of symmetry. So let's uh, put these on. Let's do it in a complete other order <laughs> to what we've done. So we're going to be putting the adhesive parts on these caps here, bring across this part of the tank, but this time we want it this way around. And then once again, match off the colour. So this one looking like that is going towards the back. And then we've got this one here looking like that will go on this side. Just match it with the camouflage on the other side. And then once again, held in with AP screws. This is the last one going in. 
So once again, once they're done on that side, they should look just like that. And then once again, bringing up this section here, we're just gonna put the caps in here to hide the screws. So they look like that for them to put in. So when they're in, they look like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. And once again, there was some uh, tracks to do at the end of that stage, which I've already done. So stage 63, as you see, we've got a little control board just on top there with, by the look of it, two motors in here. Uh, pretty impressive bit of electrics here. So uh, let's get this installed. So we're gonna bring up this section here, which has got the control board on. So bringing this section up here, you see we've got two lug holes just here, or lugs, they're gonna go into the holes here. And it's gonna be this way round. So when we put it on, I'm just going to balance them off. It's going to sit just like that. Now that's held in from the underside with some WP screws. And you can see the holes for them just here. So I'll get these in. That's the first one. And here's the second one. Put that in nice and tight. I'm going to use my big screwdriver here. So when that's in, that looks like that. It's quite rigid in there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now remember I told you about the steam circuits? Look at this, we've got the little pot of the liquid which is gonna make the steam, which is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Let's get all of these parts out. Okay, now all the parts you're gonna see here are metal they're all metal so i'm guessing they're going to be under some sort of uh, uh a lot of torsion now they do have letters in here which say l and i believe the other one's going to have r for left and right I want the right one first and i'm going to be putting a spring just on top of this spindle here now they are labeled as well l and r so i want the right one and quite simply the shaft of this is just going to fit into that little hole down the bottom so if i put that on it's gonna fit in just like that. Now on the other side, I've got this cap here. And again, the shaft is gonna be going down that little keyhole section there. So it'll be going on this way. Just make sure it's on all the way and locked in. That looks good. And we're gonna hold it in from this side with a UP screw. Now the UP screws are flanged and they are going into metal. This might be a little bit tricky because you need to compress the spring so that we can actually put that in. I can do that with one hand. Skills, I'm telling you. <laughs> so get that in nice and tight. Now you do wanna make this tight. The spring is not activating the spring in this direction, it's doing it this way. So when I turn it that way, it will spring back, as you can see. That's the whole point of having that the way round it is. So now we've made one, that's a right-hand side one. I'm gonna put that on the right-hand side and I'm gonna make a left-hand side one in exactly the same way. So once again, just drop that down here like that. Put the top over the top. The top over the top, that's good. <laughs> and then once again, hold this together with a flange screw. And again, make that tight as you can get it. So that again, you've got the spring motion in both ways here. So that can come back. Perfect. That's the left hand side one. We're going to bring over the tank and it's this section at the front that we're interested in. And I'm going to put the left hand side one in the left side here. Might need a little bit of help with your tweezers just to hook that over that section so you can get it in like that. And then do the same on the right hand side like that. They're gonna be held in with uh, two AP screws either side. Now, luckily I do have one of the AP screws left over from the last stage, but they do provide more in this pack. So, it's two in that side, and as you can see, that's now able to have that spring turn on that side. And we just do the same on the other side here. One, and two. We can take this to one side again, and we're gonna be learning what we're doing with this bottle of steam oil here. And what we've got is this top here that's gonna go onto the top of this section here. Now that is a sealed top, so obviously that's not gonna do anything. We're gonna to need to just take the top off of this. 
So I'm just going to snip the top off. Whoops. Squeezed a little bit there. And uh, just wipe that up. <laughs> and I'm going to put in this filler that looks like that. Now this is going to be used to fill the steam unit. So what we just installed here at the back is the steam unit. Now it's going to be going into that smaller hole at the back there. I'm just pulling it so you can see it actually coming out there. Now I don't know how much we're supposed to put in there. I don't think I'm going to put too much. I'll give it one last blast. Plenty left as you can see. But we've got some in there. That should be enough hopefully to make steam. I'm just going to clear up the excess that I've just spilt around the side. But that is all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 65, metal parts again in this one. So I'm just going to take these two parts out here. We do have some tracks which I've already done and they want us to do that at the end of the stage. So I haven't got to worry about that. I'm just laying these out just to make sure I've got everything that I need for this stage. It's looking good. Okay, so first thing we want to do is take one of these sections that look like this where these are raised. As you can see, the other ones are more like the female version of this. And we want to put one of these washers just down the center like that. We're then going to be taking one of the female ones and we're going to be bonding these together just like that and holding them together with VP screws. The VP screws are here, quite long screws. And you'll find once you've got one in, the rest will go in quite simply. Now, this takes three of these. I want them tight, so I am going to use my heavy duty screwdriver here. And put these all in. And there you go, that's what it should look like when they're together. That's perfect. We're going to repeat that just for the other one here. And there we go, that's two. These are really heavy uh, metal. Are these road wheels? I don't know, but they're completed. So bringing over this section that we've been working on, where we put these spring-loaded levers here, we're actually gonna be putting these over the top of it. So make sure we put them in the right way so that side's facing out, and they're just gonna go over the top, just like that. And they're held in with one of the flanged UP screws. All the way in there, just like that. Now, in stage 39, so I'm going back to my box of tricks here. We had a cap to put over the top of those. Now the cap looks just like that there. And that's what's going to go over the top. Line it up. And press that in. So that looks just like that. We're going to repeat that on the other side. And that's both of those in. Now, apart from doing the tracks, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, stage 66, as you can see here, we've got some screws and a couple of control boards and a bracket. Just clearing up my workspace here because I need to bring over the turret section, which looks like this. Remember this? And what we want to do is we want to take this plate out. So we've got to remove three, four, five, I think it's six screws. Well, basically all the screws from this section here. We're going to be taking that out. So there we go. That's off. Just like that. The reason we're taking that off is because those brackets that I just showed you, we need to actually put in here. And I've gave us some flanged PP screws to put these in with. Make sure you put them on the right side because this has a little notch, which is going to fit onto this side of the tank, which has got a little notch that's going to house that. And screw these in. And as you can see, that's both of those in place there. And then all we have to do is just replace the top again, which we just took off. I'm guessing that's just to reinforce the sides here. And there you go, that's back in. So apart from doing some more tracks, that is all there is to do in that stage. Once again, we do have this leftover control boards for a later stage. So in stage 67, get this open. We've got this massive 
section here with grill on it. We're going to turn it this way around because we have got some details in here to actually add to this. Let's get this out. Namely, these two lenses here. So one is going to go in this side here. Just push that into place. Then the other one, just in the other side, push that into place as well. Uh, that's going to take some NP screws. Now the NP screws, really tiny silver ones. But as you can see here, my PHO screwdriver handles them no problems at all. So I'm just going to put the screws in for this side and this side over here. As you can see, those screws are in, and that's what the lenses look like on both sides. Another detail to put in, which more lenses looking like that. These are just actually just going to push in this side here. So we've got one for that side and one for this side here. So again, they look like that. This is where we've got the control boards now, because we're going to be putting the control boards on top of this section here to hold all of that in. So as you can see, we have got little lights on here. So we want to make sure that those lights are going to match up with the lights in the lens. So I'm just lining them up here and that's going to go in just like that. Uh, that's going to be held in with some KP screws. Now where the bulbs are located, it does mean that that first lens we put in hasn't really got any lights behind it. It's only the lens that I've got here, the red lens, which has got those three lights behind it. This one doesn't have anything by the look of it. So uh, not quite sure what that's about, but I'll do the same on the other side. When we're putting them in, we want the wires to be going upwards. So that's what dictates pretty much which way round it goes. And obviously the lenses won't fit in the other way. So they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be lighting anything if we put it in the other way. So uh, yeah, that's what way I've got it round. So that's both of the control boards in place and they're holding those lenses in there and I'm once again clearing off my workspace because I need to bring over this section just here and they want me just to remove the screws from this panel here there's two flange screws to remove so I've got one here like this and one here so as you can see we could just take that off gently there gonna do the same on the other side bring over what we've just been working on and we're going to be putting this into the grooves either side now once again we've got these kp screws it's going to be a little bit uh tricky to do this i'm guessing but we want to hold this section in here with the kp screws which does mean we just have to lift this side that we've just taken off so we can get the screwdriver in here to put those kp screws in and we'll do exactly the same on the other side. Now they did list those screws up as KP screws and I did have some KP screws spare. But just so you know, the screws that were provided in this stage were actually labeled HP screws. And I've tried to match them off with the KP and they look exactly the same to me. So I don't know if they're KP screws which have been put in a HP bag or if it's just been mislabeled, I don't know. But either way, KP, HP, they all look the same. They're silver flange, they're silver screws with flat tops. And then all we do is once we've done that, we're just going to be putting this back together. Using the flange screws that we just took out. Just do the last one on this side. And there we go, that's back together. So the wires that we've got here from the control box, I now want to just untangle. And then once again, way back in issue, I think it was 30 and 32, we had some cable clips and some AP screws. This is where we're going to need these now. Because we're going to be putting these cables into place here. So what I'll do is I'll put one side in, show you what that looks like, and then we'll just mirror that on the other side. It's actually two clips on this side, but on this side we have got three. And there you go. They're in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. Looks like we've got lots of things to do in stage 68. Let's get all these out. And again, we've got this panel here, which we're gonna start putting some details on. So the first detail we've got is this hook, which looks like that. That's just gonna go onto the bottom here. Get that into position 
like that there. That's going to be held in from the other side with an XP screw. The XP screws are these really long ones here. So get them up and put that in all the way. Just above it, we've got this detail here, which is just going to go into this section here. Just lining it up. It's going to be held in with an AP screw. It does sort of overlap the bottom section. So when it's in, let me just straighten that up a bit. There you go, looks like that. We've got some reflectors to put on and we've got right side and left side. Put the right side on this side and the left side on this side. We want them to actually be pointing towards the middle, these two sections here. It does tell you in the instructions actually <laughs> which way round they go. Typical. Wayne, you're not looking at the pictures properly. So get these in. Hey, at least I noticed before I put them in, that's an upgrade to what I normally do. <laughs> Here's the second one. Excellent. And then just two more down the bottom. And then we've got two of these hooks here, which have, which have got little locating lugs on them. They're just going to go into the sections down the bottom here. One this side and one the other side here. Once again, they're held in from the back just with some AP screws. Now in these sections, just at the front here, you can see we've got some little holes which are going to mount these red lenses here. And these are just pushing. So line them up, push them in. One and two so that whole detail now looks like that bring over this side of the vehicle in fact i'm just going to turn it around it's this side that i'm interested where the uh, smokestack is because this is just going to be going into here like that now we're going to hold this in with two ap screws at the front Excellent, that's looking pretty good. Show you on that camera. Couple of color covers to put on now. Again, these are labeled left and right and they are gonna match the camo that we've got on the front here. So just match off with the letters behind. So this is the right one, that's gonna go in there. This is the left one, which is gonna go in here, just like that. Now these are just pushing, they don't, uh, screw in or anything like that now these tubes that we had in stage 65 we're now going to be putting them in so one of them is going to be going into this side here and it's going to go into the right hand side side piece there and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side now I don't like how there's a kink in that so what I'm going to do adjust it a little bit so there's no kink. You can just rotate these tops over. And aside from doing some tracks, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now, before I do the last stage, if you were missing any of these from previous stages, they have provided some in this pack as well. Um, I think I did have some missing, but they did send them out, but I think they rectified that now by putting them in here for us. So. That's good news. Uh, let's get the last details out here. And we're gonna wanna bring this section back just here. Uh, next to these top of spindles, down the bottom here, we've got these little holes. We're gonna actually first now put some uh, little gears in there. Don't quite know how they fit in here, just like that, I guess. One and two. So the long shaft of the gear is going into the hole, which means the short shaft of the gear uh, is just upright there. Uh, we have got some covers to put on for them and they look just like that so we just want to match these off with the gears so one this side they're going this way around that's going to hold that into place and exactly the same just on the other side here making sure it holds that gear into place and then we're going to secure that down with some tp screws these are silver screws quite long that come in this stage and two and then we're just going to do the same on the other side. So make sure that they free to rotate there. 
which they are. We do have quite a lot of things left over, like this metal wire here. We've got these little details here, but they're all used in previous stages, including some of these caps here as well, which we've had from an earlier stage. Uh, quite a few things left, as you can see, and this piece here. Uh, keep them all safe, because that's all there is to do in this stage. That's all there is to do in this pack. So lots of details being added there. And as you saw, we've got the smoke system in there as well, which I can't wait to actually try out. Don't know when I'm going to get a chance to do that. Let's hope that's coming in issue nine or 10. Who knows? We'll have to see. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. But I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care. Thank you.